Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today, I thought we would color out of stained glass patterns by Jade Summer. I have not colored out of a Jade Summer book in quite a while. I was thinking this was a color by number book, and that's why I picked out my colors chosen. Uh, but no, this is not a color by number because I wanted to do a non-color by number for a change. <laughs> not everybody's into color by number and I do most of my color and chats with color by number because they're just easier for me and I have no idea what color scheme I'm going to be doing on this. Oh yes, let's put our cardstock back behind. Alright, I do have my handy dandy color chart here. Now this is the combination of all of the Artex. I was going to color with my Artex Oros uh, brush markers. Uh, Artex has two different kinds, the chisel tip and uh, the brush tip. And so I have all the brush tip markers. I did do a swatching video of all three sets. I think there's an 80 set, 90 set skin tone. Is there a gray set? If I remember, I'll link that swatching video down below in the description. So, what shall we start with? I think I'm going to do yellow in the middle. I do that a lot, I guess. Let's go for Pastel Yellow 37. Okay. And let me zoom you guys in. That way you won't see the top of my head either. <laughs> All right. How is everybody doing? We're doing pretty good here. A few medical things, but we'll, we'll talk about that. A little later. Then I'm going to go with a dark purple. Ultramarine. Yeah, let's do that. Or do I want to do light violet? No, I think I want contrast. So we'll do 73. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, typical. Not a whole lot going on around here. You know, I lead a boring life. But like I've said in the past, I guess that's a good thing. Means not too many things are going wrong, right? Could it be worse? And then we're going to go with pink. You know, I love my yellow, purple, and pink. Where's a real pretty pink to go on here? I don't want a real bright one. Let's go with... Let's go with pale pink number nine. Pale pink number nine. There we go. Now, some of these lines are kind of thin. So with alcohol markers, you really got to be careful not to go over the lines. And when I'm coloring off camera, I do much better than when I'm coloring on camera. For some reason, I always feel like I'm in a hurry when I color on camera. <laughs> well, I'm in a hurry anyhow. I'm not a patient, slow colorist. That's probably why I color with markers the most now. It used to always be gel pens. And I still do color with my gel pens, especially in my one color coloring books and my pattern coloring books. Now, if this one was more detailed, I would use gel pens in here, too. I think I'm going to do pink for these sides also. So, yeah, we've, uh, our weather, it's really actually nice today. Nice and warm. Yesterday, too, was just beautiful. The sun's been out. So the snow's been melting off the roof. It's still below freezing, but with the sun, the sun's getting warmer all the time. 
So that is nice. Last week, was it last week? Yeah, I think so. We were supposed to get this big snowstorm, especially up north. They were supposed to get like a foot of snow. We were supposed to get like three to five. All the schools closed. Our school here in Marathon hardly ever closes. Our school closed. Guess how much snow we got? An inch and a half. <laughs> Uh, it was hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, I'm going to do these green because they look like leaves. So I'm going to do... I was going to do this. Yeah, let's do the top light and the bottom dark so that it looks like, you know, the sun's hitting the top part. So we're going to go 47 grass green. This is when it makes it so nice to have a color chart. <laughs> Instead of scratching on a, you know, piece of paper or seeing if marker looks right. I still do that when I'm trying to match up colors for a color by number just to make sure it's going to come out the way I want it. Okay, let's, before we do the other ones, let's pick the dark Green then. So I did that one. Let's go with, oh, a lot of these have a blue undertone. Hmm, let's try Viridian 54. Kind of wanted one that was just a regular green, kind of with the yellow undertone, but don't really have one, so... Oh, this looks okay, though. So, yeah, the, all the schools were closed for nothing. It was hilarious. Well, and like I told Bob, I couldn't believe they were closing for three to five inches to begin with. I mean, that really is not much for here. Oh, what am I going to do for here then? I want to do it the same as up there, so I guess we're just going to do it the opposite way, and we'll put dark on the top instead. You know, they they very, like I said, very rarely close the school, so, you know, even three to five inches, I was amazed that they closed the schools, and then we only got an inch and a half. It moved more north than what they thought it was going to, so way far upper north they did get over a foot of snow better them than us <laughs> they always get a lot of snow up there they get like lake effect snow and yeah we here in central wisconsin miss out on a lot of the snow because it seems like most of it, most of the storms go either south of us where they get slammed or north of us and then they get slammed. <laughs> All right, let's bring that purple in again. So we're going to put that purple in here. Pardon my arm. And we'll probably have to bring in another color. Not sure what. Oh, this is a juicy marker. Wow. So, of course, the juicier your markers, the more the ink is going to spread. So then I try to stay away from the line, see how much the ink is going to spread. And if I have to put a little bit more, I just kind of dot in there and see if it's going to spread to the line, which that one almost did there. So that's one way of staying in the lines. Like I said, at, at least when I color on my own, <laughs> I'm sure this is going to be out of the lines for the color and chat. 
I don't know why I always feel like I'm in a hurry and a color and jet. But, oh well. I always say, at the end of the day, it's a picture, right? Okay, let's bring in a different color in here. How about a pretty blue? Um, and a lighter one to contrast next to that. I kind of want to bring in a, a blue-green. Hmm... How about 66 baby blue? It's not really a baby blue, though. <laughs> it's a little darker than a baby blue. It's an aqua blue. Oh, yeah, I like those two together. How many of you are color by number fanatics like I am? I think more and more people are coloring color by number. Um, I know at one point in time there were a select few of us and now it seems like quite a few people are doing color by number. Not all the time and not even the vast majority of the time like some of us. But it seems like some are giving it a shot. All right, what shall we do for the tips? Almost looks like a cap of a strawberry, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe because we don't have a whole lot of dark green. I'll put the dark green in there. Whoops, don't want that chisel. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not me. Are you a chisel person or a brush person? I am definitely a brush person. I've said that in the past. Because you can get real thin lines and real thick lines just depending on the pressure that you use. Now I know with chisels you can get very thin and thick lines. But you got to turn the marker certain ways so that you can get that thin or thick line. You know what I mean? <laughs> But some people get so good at it that, you know, they just automatically do it. I thought in the background then we would do real pale colors. So I should have used a darker pink. I think I can go over the top of that. Why, sure we can. Hmm... I don't know if that's going to be too bright, though. Yeah, I want a darker pink in there, though. How about Cosmos, number seven? And then I can use the pastels in the background, because this pink looks too pastel. Oh, yeah, and i got to color the inside. I think we'll do yellow for that. Because we only have a little bit of yellow in here so far. We'll bring it in more on the outside. And if I run out of things to say, it seems like a lot of you liked the would you rather questions that I went through last time. Because didn't really have much to say in my color and chat last time. So, yeah, it seemed you guys kind of enjoyed that. So we'll go through a few more would you rather questions if I run out of stuff. Because like I said, life around here, you know, just not much happens. I uh, did send out the diamond painting mystery kits. Um, got feedback from a couple of the gals that got them. Um, and they really seemed to like them. So I was glad about that. Okay, let's use pale blue. So I'm going to use <laughs> pale baby blue 144. 
Then I'm going to use a pale pink. Uh, let's use medium pink, 137. No, that's 317. Dyslexia, I tell you. Okay, 137 I said, right? 135, yeah, 137. I don't see it. 137, there we go. And then I really don't have a pale orange to use. Well, kind of. Let's see, do I want blue, pink? Let's get a lavender in there, of course. So pale lilac, 147. So we have blue, pink, and purple. That might be enough. We'll see. So let's start with the pale lilac. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, um, so those were just the 30 by 30 diamond paintings because that's the largest that fits in the medium flat rate boxes. But I have so many 30 by 40 diamond paintings that I would love to do mystery box giveaways for also. So I did order some large flat rate uh, boxes. I want to see how many 30 by 40s I can fit in the large flat rate because the medium flat rate I was able to fit 10 diamond paintings in there which surprised me. I didn't think I was going to be able to fit that many in there, but I squeezed them in. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking if I can fit 10 30 by 40s, the postage is only five bucks more than a medium flat rate. So how many people would be interested in getting a mystery pack of 30 by 40 diamond paintings. What do you think? Um, so instead of the 20 bucks, it would be $25. And like I said, I'm hoping that I'd be able to get 10 in there also. Um, I did, like I said, I ordered a pack of the large boxes and they should be here next week. So then I'm going to pull out a bunch of 10 by or 30 by 40s and I'm going to see how many fit in there. So yeah, let me know if you would be interested in the larger diamond painting mystery boxes. Because I would like to forward some of those on to you guys too. And all you do is pay for the postage. Hmm, let's get some of the blue in here. Oh, these pastel shades are pretty. Pretty, pretty. Maybe I'll get a pastel green in here. Do some green up there. Mm. I love my pastel colors. I think most of us do. <laughs> They're just so pretty. Kind of looks like Easter colors, doesn't it? <laughs> I am going to be looking for a St. Patrick's Day questionnaire. A lot of you liked the Valentine's questionnaire when I did that. Because I actually did two coloring chats that week. I know, most of you fell over. <laughs> Let's find a pastel green then. Ooh, we have some real light, light ones. I don't know if those will be too light. Well, maybe not. Let's go with Spring Dim Green 174. 
let's see if this is going to be too light. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll put, let's put green in the middle and blue. No, we'll put blue in the middle and then green over here. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below and I will, as soon as I receive those boxes, I will announce in a color and chat that the first five people, again, like the other one, the first five people that contact me will get dibs on the 30 by 40s. Okay, I think I'll use, yeah, the blue here, lavender there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Gotta love pastels. Alright. The air here is so dry, just like it is for most other people in the middle of winter, right? There is, you know, enough um, humidity outside, but in the house, no. We typically have between 16 and 18% humidity. That is it. So that's why we get zapped all the time. And poor Callie, when I pet her, um, I always say I give her shock therapy. <laughs> she always puts her, her ears back before I pet her on the head because she knows. It's like, no, Mama, no. <laughs> now we're going to use those same pastels for the background out here. Let me grab the yellow and do the inside here though. And so we bought a used humidifier just to see how much it would help. That thing was so cotton picking loud we couldn't stand it. So yeah, that, that was useless, but it did raise the humidity up to 35% I think it was and I read that your humidity in the house should be between 40 and 50. You don't really want to go over 50 because then that's not good. You don't want that much moisture in your house because of you know mold and mildew and all that stuff. But yeah we didn't get anywhere near 40 <laughs> even with the humidifier running and that was just in the living room where we had the humidifier. Now I have been trying to talk Bob into, we have a humidifier right on the furnace, but he disconnected it because couldn't figure out why our water bill was so atrociously high. Um, here, come to find out Let's put purple in the middle. That, that humidifier constantly was running water through the hose down into the drain. So it, it didn't just kick in when the furnace ran. It was just running. So yeah, he disconnected it. And I said, rather than us buying a whole house, you know, floor model, humidifier, which I don't think would really reach my bedroom or even his bedroom because we keep our doors closed. His is right off the living room, so it might get into his room a little. But I said, let's look at getting that humidifier fixed. I said, it could be that it's not even going to cost that much to fix. At least get a quote, you know, get an estimate. He hasn't done that yet. <laughs> he did know of a person that was a 
plumber that he called and left a message for and never got a call back, so. I don't know. All right. I guess let's bring the green in over here. Let's do the light green and then the dark green. See, just kind of go with the flow as I go. <laughs> so sorry. And I think these I'm going to do black and or gray. Maybe brown? Maybe brown would be better. We'll see. Something darker to again stand out from these pastels. And even from bright colors it should stand out. Originally was thinking of just black, but maybe a dark gray. I, <laughs> this was so funny. I was kidding up a diamond painting, which if you've diamond painted at all, it was a diamond art club. So you have to cut open all these packets and they're plastic. So you have the little bit of the top that you cut off and then you have these plastic bags. There was so much static cling I couldn't get those plastic babies and that top part that I cut off into the garbage can. <laughs> I mean, finally, it would let go of my hand. This marker's drying out. Uh, I guess I won't be using this green much. At least not right now until I can get it refilled. And I just refill them with my Copic, Copic marker refills. Um, so yeah, I was fighting with the static, trying to get those in the waste paper basket. And by the end, oh my gosh, I was just laughing. It was absolutely hilarious because I would go over the top of, and it's just a small waste paper basket that we have a, a bag in. A plastic bag so that made the static even worse right I'd be throwing them in there trying to get them off my hand I'd manage to get one in the garbage can and it jumped right back out and onto the table it was absolutely hilarious and I burst out laughing and after that every single one that I tried putting in that garbage can would just jump right back out. It's like, you ain't throwing me away. <laughs> and yeah, I was laughing so loud. Bob, Bob had gotten up to go to the bathroom. And I said, did you hear me laughing? No. So I kind of told him what was going on. He didn't think it was as funny as me, but <laughs> he probably was half asleep. I thought it was hilarious just to watch these bags jumping back out of this garbage can. It was funny. Maybe it just had to be there to, to think it was funny. I don't know. All right, what do you guys think? Black, dark gray? Maybe black is going to contrast too much. Hmm. Do we want a warm gray, cool gray, blue gray, green gray? Let us see. Hmm. Warm gray, cool gray. So we could do something like this, which is the warm. No, I think I want to go with the cool. And the blue, blue gray. Let's do that. Let's do blue gray nine. That's the darkest of the blue grays. Blue gray nine. We'll see if I made a big mistake. 
Yeah. Just got to try it, right? So, yeah, that, that was my entertainment for the evening. <laughs> and now I kitted that diamond painting up probably for nothing. I was going to do an event, um, participate in an event in March, which um, one of the diamond people, well, they're actually two. They're co-hosting together. And it is Mermaids and Magic. So I was going to be doing this cute rainbow dragon. Um, but I think I mentioned in last week's color and chat maybe that I am going to be working on a special secret project. And uh, it is diamond painting related, so... I should have it done by the end of March. She wants it done as soon as possible. So to give her feedback on it, because it is a, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not protege, prototype um, of what the final product will be. So she's going to take mine and a number of other people's feedback and then make any necessary changes. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of diamond painting next month. I am assuming more diamond painting than coloring. Kind of like last month. I was so into diamond painting last month. This month I actually did quite a bit more coloring. I mean, I still diamond painted quite a bit too. And I did take a break from some of my large diamond paintings and I did a couple snack size partials special drill diamond paintings so that was nice it was nice just to take a small break so I actually will have a couple of finished diamond paintings to show you at the end of the month which is coming up real fast so I'll have to record that. I'm not sure if I'll be recording it during the week. I may just wait until next weekend and yeah, put it up late. I'm good for that. Yes. I think I like this dark gray. I think it actually might look better than the black. On camera it might look black. But Looks more stained glass type, I think, with the dark gray. Oh, I like how that's turning out. Yeah. Okay. So, what else is going on? Maybe while I have this out, I'm going to do this in the same color. I was having computer problems again last week. Uh, that's why I never got that Rachel Mintz drawing for the, the winter drawing done. Oh, I am so sorry, guys. I did record it yesterday or this morning. So I am hoping to get up this color and chat yet tonight along with the winner announcements for the winners of those Rachel Mintz PDFs. Finally. Um, but yeah, I my computer was slowing down so much. And I think I've said in the past that I have my iPad wirelessly connected to my laptop. I always have my iPad out right next to me anyhow where I don't have my laptop out and it's just you know kind of a pain to get the laptop out all the time. <laughs> I know I'm lazy. Um, and uh, so I thought well I'm going to reboot the laptop which I have underneath the end table. So I got it out and I rebooted it. Yeah, what happens? I no longer can connect 
my iPad to the laptop and I'm like, what is going on? Every once in a while I have a problem with it and no matter what I try, it just, ah. The first time it happened, after I had to have my laptop reset to factory default, oh my god, was that a pain. And that's when I lost a bunch of my color charts. Oh, thank you to whomever suggested or mentioned in the comments when I was talking about missing a whole bunch of my color charts, about going back, because I have sent a number of color charts to people, and I went back in my sent folder. Now, I didn't get the vast majority of them back, but the one I really wanted back was the Brute Fooner 520, and I found it. I had sent that one to an individual, even though it wasn't finished and I still don't have it finished completely but I did get that one back and I got a couple of others back so not a lot of them but at least a couple and this is really bleeding outside the lines especially that thin one on the inside trying to stay away from the line but not working so well so yeah I uh, couldn't connect again so I thought okay I'm gonna again contact Microsoft because I had this very helpful gentleman on the phone last time took us forever to figure it out I was on the phone with him for Oh my gosh, probably two hours. But he was so patient and so good. Well, right now, that particular department does not have phone, I mean, uh, yeah, phone support. So all, the only option you have is chat. I hate trying to troubleshoot over chat. Anybody else like that? Uh it is just so irritating. You know, you're trying to type all this and then you wait for them to reply back. And, uh, and there was a couple times, I mean, she was really, well, not sure if it was a she or a he because I couldn't tell by the name. It was a odd name. Um, but she, he, <laughs> he, she, <laughs> Uh, was, yes, very, very patient with me. Is this the one? Yeah, because that's the pastel. Um, and eventually, you know, took control. You know, I, I authorized him, her, to take control of my computer. And he, she went in and checked a whole bunch of settings. And it was all settings that I've already checked. I mean, I'm not PC illiterate, but I definitely, you know, don't know what they all know. Um, so, yeah, do this, do that. Well, finally, he, she <laughs> decided, well, maybe there's a corrupted file in Windows. We're just going to completely reinstall Windows. This is after, oh my gosh probably being an hour and a half in chat. So, of course, downloading and installing Windows. Now, I have Windows Pro, which is what you need in order to remotely connect to another device. Regular Windows 10 Home Edition won't work. Um, so, yeah, just to get Windows 10 Pro back on my laptop took, oh my God, forever. So then, because that took up the whole screen, I couldn't see chat anymore. So by the time it was done installing it and rebooted and all of that fun stuff, 
if you don't respond in chat once the representative asks you a question or something within a certain amount of time, they disconnect you. So I had no chat with her and it didn't work anyhow. And this is after the fact um, because you have to go through chat you get placed in a queue and they let you know what position you're in, you know, how, how many people are ahead of you. Guess what position I was in when I first initiated the chat. Take a guess, just take a guess. 194. <laughs> it was about two o'clock when I initiated that and I got in the queue. You know what time it was by the time it got to me? It was after 10 o'clock at night. So it was, you know, like eight hours, eight, little over eight hours to get to me. Yeah. Now, of course, I wasn't sitting there waiting at my computer the entire time. <laughs> that would have really been bad. You know, I did other things and stuff, but yet I wanted to keep an eye on it too. But of course, you know, these support people, it's not typically a simple question that people are asking. You know, many times it's something involved like mine and they have to be in chat for a while, so yeah. It went down very, very slowly. I think they need more support representatives. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so my chat ended. Reinstalling Windows did not do it, of course. And so I'm like, oh great. So I did some Googling, as I normally do. I first Googled before I contacted Microsoft, and I couldn't find anything. And did some searching here, come to find out it is my firewall. Now, I have Norton firewall. I don't use just Windows 10's firewall, which is a pretty good firewall. I mean, you don't definitely have to have an additional firewall over and above what Windows 10 provides you. And that firewall is always getting better, too. Um, but I do have Norton. Norton was blocking it. Why it started doing that after I rebooted my computer, I don't know. Um... So I discovered that because I turned off my Norton antivirus and my iPad could connect. So I knew Norton had something to do with it. <laughs> Process of elimination, right? Okay, I'm going to continue with the purple around here so that it makes it look like a frame. So yeah, started Googling... And I really wasn't finding anything, and I'm really getting frustrated. By this point, you know, I had worked on this for so long, and, you know, I while I was waiting for my turn to chat, I had uploaded and done videos on my laptop. Because, um, you know, I had to get some stuff uploaded for you guys. So edited those and made my thumbnails and all that stuff on the laptop itself. And then I can't remember how it even dawned on me to try something. It was something I had to make an exception for a certain port because there's a port that my iPad uses to gain access to my laptop. For some reason, I think Norton was blocking that port. So I programmed in an exception.
to that port, stating, if my iPad wants to access my laptop via this port, let it do that. <laughs> and it worked. It worked. I was so excited. Uh, I feel like jumping for joy, but Bob was already in bed, so I figured I better not do that. Okay, now we're going to start with the pastel colors. So yeah, that was just, uh, uh, that was this past week. And I was going to do some recording and it, yeah, just did not work out. All right, I don't want to do the lavender in here because we have purple. We have blue, we have pink. Don't really want to do, let's do the pink in here. So, oh, it was so frustrating. But let me tell you, because it was so frustrating and I had worked on it for an entire day, when I did get that thing working, oh my gosh, you talk about a feeling of accomplishment. It's like, hey, hey Microsoft, I don't need you. Because <laughs> uh, nothing, he, she, <laughs> tried, did anything. And you would have thought, as a Microsoft person, an expert, that they would have thought of this. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh I keep a touch of. But yeah, it's now working. So I guess that's all that matters. Okay this one what do you think of it so far I have such a hard time picking out colors when I'm on screen when I'm in front of you guys I must get nervous let's do a green in here because we only have a little bit of green up there Put some more pastels and then pastel in here and then bright colors in there again. So we're going to put some real contrasting colors for the background versus the design. What do you think? Now I know stained glass has the nice bright colorful stuff, but I just thought eh, for this one I wanted a contrasting background. All right, let's do our pastel here. So, let's put our lavender right up here. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I did say at the beginning there were some health things going on. Bob finally goes in for a CAT scan on Wednesday, and I am going to go in with him because he never speaks up for himself. <laughs> so I'm going to speak up for him. Yep. Because um, he always makes, he always downplays it, you know? crabs and complains about it so bad here and then he gets in front of the doctor and is like oh it isn't so bad it's like Bob you gotta speak up so his cough is so so bad oh my gosh um no I take that back he had his C CT scan last week he goes and sees the doctor this week and that's why I am going along um, because it's it doesn't matter what he drinks what he eats sometimes he's even just sitting there mostly it's when he eats or drinks though and it's like it almost seems now if you're new to my channel Bob um, had esophageal cancer um, it'll be three years ago now. And so, yeah, he had to go through all the 
standard treatment, chemo, radiation, and I mean, this man has gone through hell and back, and he finally is able to eat again. The last dent that they put in, actually, knock on wood, is working yet. Because they, I think he was in like over a dozen times to have different stents put in. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Um, but, so that's working. He's able to eat. The food is not getting stuck. But now this, whoa, don't want that blue. Now this coughing, oh my gosh. Keeps him up at night. And so he said it almost feels like there is a hole in there. Now that's been checked out in the past already and they couldn't really see a hole but that's why they wanted to do another CT scan there's got to be something that can be done something he can't live like this for the rest of his life he just can't I don't know so that's why I'm going along <laughs> Because I will speak up. <laughs> Bob's too quiet and he's just too nice. <laughs> and when you're talking about health issues and stuff, you know, a lot of times it's it's great to be, you know, such a nice guy. But when you got to speak up for yourself, that's not good. <laughs> got to speak up. I know he doesn't want to complain and... The only time he would call in to Surgical Associates, um, which is where his uh, doctor is, is when it got really bad. And a matter of fact, the nurse who he talks to all the time there, you know, said, well, I know it must be bad for you to call in, <laughs> which is very true. It does. Okay, I think we'll put pink in here. We'll put pale green out here because it's a big space. We only have a little bit in there. Dang it. Did I do it again? Oh, man. Mm, that's making me mad. I don't suppose I can bleach that back out because this, you know, has more plain alcohol. It's how they make the pastels. And I should see if I can do that with the blue, too. That's why they have the... Maybe I should try that. Colorless blender. Now, you don't want to go too much because I don't want it to go into there. But, see, that's why this thing is named incorrectly. So bad. Now the only problem with doing this now, I shouldn't have done that. Should have tried it just with the light blue. I'm going to have a line there now, but oh well. Let's go over the whole thing then. It's one way to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, now my purple. Oh well. Too bad. Good enough. Good enough. Um, yeah, so let's move that other pink out of the way. And we're going to do yellow up here. So, yeah, we'll see how next Wednesday goes, if there's anything else. I think he's afraid to go because his surgeon up here, who's been working with him to put all those stents in, once had mentioned just once about him maybe going back down to Madison which is the big hospital here in Wisconsin um, and talk to the surgeon that did his it's called an esophectomy I think it's removal of he had had to actually have his esophagus removed and then and the upper part of his stomach and then 
part of his remaining stomach was pulled up and made a new esophagus. I have no idea how they do that. Sounds really nasty to me, but anyhow. So he just has extremely bad vibes from going down to Madison. They kept him there for so long because his testing and stuff doesn't just, you know, was not good enough to let him out yet. Well, he was ready to pull the plug himself, not, not pull that plug, pull the IV out and walk out. And I said, well, have fun time getting home because I'm not coming down and getting you if you do that. <laughs> but by the time he was actually getting super fed up, then they released him. Because it number one, he was just getting too much drainage out of his chest tubes yet. It had to be down to a certain amount. And the way it is, they let him come home. He had one chest tube in yet. And we had to have a nurse come out every day, change the dressings, and after... I don't know, week, week and a half, she taught me how to do it because there was a whole procedure. Oh my God. Oy, oy, oy. And, oh, it was nasty. So, yeah, I had to do it then. <laughs> but we, we do that, don't we, for our loved ones. I know he'd do it for me, so. Um... So yeah, keeping our fingers crossed that, you know, it's not usually you want them to actually find something wrong, right? Unless you're just having problems and problems and problems and they keep telling you nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. And it's like, I wish you'd just find something wrong so that we could fix it. Hopefully fix it. Um... Put pink in there. Let's grab the right pink. So, and then for me, I don't know if I told you about when I had gone to, well, I had my checkup. Hmm, when was that? Last month, January. Um, and actually went in for a mammogram. Mm, pink, pink, oh well. So I had that. That tested out good. But I've been having just like a little bit of pressure in, in my chest and stuff. and So that kind of worried my general practitioner. And she wanted to refer me over to a heart specialist. The only reason I kind of gave in is... The heart history in my family. Now my sister that was just diagnosed with liver cancer that somehow miraculously miraculously recovered from without any intervention. It was yeah it was bizarre but anyhow thank heavens I mean that was just a miracle. Um she um, had heart problems too, or has. She hasn't time to stand. Mm -hmm. Can't. <laughs> um, so she still has, hopefully, not too serious. Oh, I did that pink. We're going to leave it. Um, not too serious of a procedure we don't want her to have to go through you know open heart or anything like that um but went to the heart specialist and <laughs> um i figured nothing would come of it you know well wasn't quite like that. I mean, it's not the worst in the world. It's not like I'm about ready to have a heart attack or anything. But I do have vascular disease. 
I have quite a bit of calcification in my aorta and the main arteries going down your legs. So that has him concerned. And so on March 17th, isn't that St. Patrick's Day? The 17th, I go in for some tests. I have to go in for an echo cardiogram and a CT of the heart with that contrast eye, which, you know, with the, with the two procedures, will really let them look inside the heart, just making sure all the blood flow you know, is working correctly and, you know, stuff like that. So, fingers crossed, you know, everything looks good. You know, he gave me some instructions, you know, get off, you know, if I'm drinking whole fat milk, which we don't. We always drink 2%, but it's best to get on skim milk. Well, I don't really drink milk. <laughs> Bob will have some with, you know, if he has cereal in the morning. Or if I am cooking and I need milk, I use 2%. But other than that, don't really drink milk. Um, but then, of course, you know, watching sodium, which is a big one for me. I am a salt fanatic, so... I've been cutting back on my salt. I'm not adding salt anymore. Really takes a while, though, to get used to not having that salty flavor, isn't it? Oh. And before my CT scan, guess what? <clears throat> no caffeine for 24 hours. 24 hours. <sighs> I mean, thank heavens I am not a coffee drinker, but I'm a big Diet Mountain Dew drinker. <laughs> ah, speaking of which. So, yeah, that is going to be extremely hard. What color should we do these? Hey, we're getting pretty far on this. Hmm, should we do in the blue also so this looks like kind of a frame? Like what I did with the purple? Yeah, let's do that. I heard you guys. Yeah, do that. So I'm not looking forward to that. And then the other thing that's going on. I, when I had my colonoscopy and endoscopy... She did an upper endoscopy because for my, every year I have to have a recheck. I had gastric bypass surgery in 2009. So, wow, I can't believe it was that long ago. And it was very successful for me. I lost, well, now I've lost almost half my body weight. I've gained a little bit back, which is perturbing. Um... But I was almost up to 270, and then I did hit 135 for a while. But I didn't stay at 135 for real long. So I'm like 10 pounds up from that now. And it's like, darn. But anyhow, during my checkup then, I had mentioned something about a little bit of burning. And I was due for colonoscopy anyhow, so... Might as well kill two birds with one stone while I'm out, you know, and do them both. Well, yeah, come to find out I have the start of an ulcer in my little stomach pouch, which is not good when you have had gast gastric bypass surgery. It's much more severe than a regular ulcer. My surgeon that did my original gastric bypass would have to go in and completely redo that. And yeah, just not a, not a fun prospect. 
Should we do dark gray for this too? Because it just seems like it's a border there too. Okay, talk, talk. Okay, I heard you. You said yep. Um, so I go in on the 17th for my heart stuff. Well, I go in on the 15th for another upper endoscopy to see how that's doing because she put me on extra heavy duty um, antacid and boy this gray bleeds holy guacamole wow um i i take 40 or 20 milligrams of pantoprazole every day just to it's an acid reducer just to try to prevent an ulcer well now she put me on double that so i take 40 before every meal like a half hour before every meal and yeah hoping that's going to heal up the ulcer um so that's why i have to go back on the 15th for another upper endoscopy all these procedures and of course they all have copays like 160 bucks for the CT scan and 100 and something for the endoscopy. And it's like, oh, come on, people. I mean, I have pretty good insurance, but you always have to have these copays. And eh. so I'm really not looking forward to all of that. Alrighty, it's almost time for me to make supper. Alright, let's do a bright color here in the corners. What shall we do? We see so much bright pink here, but we have quite a bit of purple. We have quite a bit of should we do the, I don't want to use this green because it's running dry. Maybe if we use the dark green and just bring a little bit of that into the corners. And then I'm not, I think with this all being pastel, I'm going to do the darker colors for the border on the outside. Maybe I'll use a dark brown and a light brown or wouldn't, would that look funny? with the grays in here unless I do a dark gray light gray no I don't want to do that not sure not sure what I'm going to do maybe I'll just use some colors from inside here but I kind of wanted no I might do the light brown dark brown I think that would look okay So yeah, there's there's a few health things going on. But hopefully all will turn out well. I hate all this waiting. And then there was a mix up with my meds, my antidepressants. I was running out. Usually my I get my all my drugs all my meds <laughs> that didn't sound good through my mail order um, via what I have for health insurance they have a mail order service for medications and your meds are free so it's like yes please let's look for a light and dark brown here quick camel brown and natural oak no, because one's got a yellow tint, the other one has a red tint. What's a light one that has a red tint? Mm, how about terracotta? And natural oak. That, that might work. 21. And natural oak, 91. These are going to be very, very different in light 
and dark. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to get some that were closer in color. These are quite different. What was I saying? Oh, shoot. I was saying something, wasn't I? Well, I'm assuming I was saying something. I don't know. Yeah, now I don't hear you. No, I know some of you are out there saying, you were talking about this. Was I still? Oh, oh, oh. I know what it was. So, yeah, they're supposed to automatically send me my renewal prescriptions. They didn't this last time. So I'm in a panic because I only had a couple days meds left and I should have double checked, you know, my medicine cabinet to make sure I had refills, but I didn't. I just kind of assumed why they didn't send them automatically this last time. I don't know, but they didn't. So I contacted my psychiatrist and I explained the situation. And they sent in a one-month prescription to my local pharmacy here. So I'm like, whew, saved. Um, but my psychiatrist didn't want to give me any more prescriptions until he seen me again. So I call to make an appointment. He is so booked up. I can't get in until May. May. Oh my God. So then I called the nurse, explained the situation. I had to leave a message though. And I said, well, you know, if this is going to be a problem, please call me back. Well, I didn't get a call back. So I sure hope she got my message stating that, you know, my mail order prescription company is probably going to be contacting you once you know because my refills are out I know you know my doctor doesn't want to refill them until he had after he's seen me but that's not going to be possible so I am due now for refills because it's been almost a month now I did order them through my mail order and it said zero refills so they typically automatically contact your doctor then so I'm gonna see if that goes through right now it still just says processing so I was hoping oh yeah my heart doctor also put me on Lipitor for high cholesterol. I said, nobody's ever told me I had high cholesterol. And they used the blood work that I had done for my bariatric checkup. Nobody ever told me I had high cholesterol, not even in that checkup. And it's like, what? <laughs> my blood pressure's been going up. Oh, the stress of it all. I've always had really low blood pressure, like 90 over 60 many times, or in the 90s, low six, you know. So yeah, because I would get dizzy if I stand up fast because my blood pressure is so low, but not anymore. I mean, it's not high. I can't remember what it was when I was there, but it was, you know, little on the high side. And I said, that is very unusual for me. So we shall see. I think we'll finish with the brown border. So we didn't even get to any would you rather questions. Isn't that a miracle? We're actually over an hour. What? What? I'm not usually quite this gabby. Of course, Bob and I are both sick. 
well, not sick. Both have health concerns. Let's just put it that way. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Oh, it's because I did it wrong here. Oh, what a bummer. Well, we're going to do two lights in each corner. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it'll be all right. What a bummer. I always manage to screw something up. It's just a picture. Just a picture. So yeah, life has been full of fun and games around here lately. Stressing me out. No wonder my blood pressure is high. Wonder if I went in for my heart checkup before or after my uh, Microsoft fiasco. <laughs> fiasco. Yeah, that would have raised anybody's blood pressure. Ugh. But yes, all is good now. Oh. I wanted to start out the color and chat with this, and now I totally forgot is my heart is so with the people over in Ukraine. If you have family or friends over there, oh my gosh, I am saying a prayer for you and for them. Not going to get into the politics of it. Some may approve of that war. Me, I think it's utterly ridiculous. I think it's an unprovoked war. I, myself, think Russia has no business being in there. But again, that is my opinion, in my opinion only. I think the vast majority of us Americans feel that way, but I'm sure not everybody does. So, again, not political, but just on a human level. You know, seeing, seeing these people being killed and hearing the stories is just heartbreaking just heartbreaking so let's hope it doesn't last long you know that Russia is probably going to be taking Ukraine there's doesn't sound like there is much hope of something else happening but let's hope then if it does let's hope it happens fast to eliminate any more people dying over there. So, but let's end it on a happy note. That's why I wanted to start out with that um, and end on a happy note. Let's see. Because I've been talking about depressing stuff, man. Problems with Microsoft. Um, diamond painting kidding up in my, my uh, plastic bags jumping back out of my garbage bag, garbage can. On the medical things coming up. Uh, well, let's let's end on the funny note with my diamond painting plastic bags just jumping out like like jumping beans back out of my garbage can. Oh, just picture it. Just picture it. It is absolutely hilarious. I wish I could have videotaped it. I really. <laughs> but it was too hard to hold my phone and do it at the same time. Otherwise, I would have I would have show you right here um, a clip of how it was happening because it was just amazing. It was just <laughs> yeah okay. Anyhow, like I said, you probably had to be there. So I hardly have anything left to do on this page. I'm I'm again going to just put some more pastels out here not sure in here I might put the bolder colors I think I'm undecided but I think I might and then just the pastels through here yeah 
I guess I'll decide when I finish it. So that is it for this weekend's color and chat. I thank you so much for watching this video, for keeping me company while I do the color and chat and just blab on and on. To you guys, I hope I kept you guys company while you either colored, diamond painting, clean, did some other craft, whatever you are busy doing. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody has had a fantastic weekend. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys. Thank you.